Hello everyone, and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. Curse of Osiris has been released, and with Curse of Osiris came a few new changes and new additions to the game Destiny 2. One of those new additions is the prophecy tablets that you get from Brother Vance in the lighthouse over on Mercury. Now these prophecy tablets are used for one thing, and that is to go and forge a new Vex theme weapon at the lighthouse. In order for you to start collecting your prophecy tablets and going after the materials that those prophecy tablets need to be completed, you must first finish the main campaign for Curse of Osiris. After you're done with that, you will then get a quest for adventures on Mercury, and once you have completed that quest, Brother Vance will give you a prophecy tablet that requires you to go and collect one rare Radio Laren culture. We'll talk about those more in just a second. After you've completed that, you will then return to Brother Vance, and he will offer you a selection of three prophecy tablets. Each one will give you a set weapon. For example, prophecy tablet number one will give you the scout rifle, prophecy tablet number three will give you a hand cannon, and so on. They're all going to be the same. They're not random weapons, nor are the perks random. Now, it is worth noting that each week, Brother Vance will have three separate prophecy tablets for you to collect and complete thus giving you three completely brand new weapons each and every week. That is, until you've collected them all, of course, and you own them all, then you won't get anything new going forward, and there won't be a reason to go back and do them after about three weeks. But, nonetheless, for the ones that you will be doing, let's go ahead and talk about the materials needed to collect them. So the first material, and which seems to be the most common on the prophecy tablets, meaning you're going to have to get it the most, is the Concentrated Radiolarian Culture. Now, in order for you to complete the Prophecy Tablet, you need to turn in blue versions of these, meaning rare versions, but you can also go and collect 10 green versions, or uncommon versions, bring those to Brother Vance, and turn them in for one blue. Now, that seems to be the easiest way to do this, since the blue versions typically are very, very rare drops. I personally have not seen a single one, and my friend Christian is is very lucky. In his very first public event that he completed, he got one blue one and has since not gotten a single other blue one and has been having to farm for green ones. Now, for the green ones, it tells you to go and do public events in order to get them. However, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that this is not the only way to obtain these materials. The absolute easiest way to obtain these materials are random chests that you will find in control. You can find these in high value target chest, which seems to be the most consistent way of getting them. I found myself getting one every two or three high value target chests that I open on any destination. And in addition to that, you can also get them from random patrol chest on a destination. And of course, you can get them at the end of a public event as well. Now it's worth noting that I personally haven't gotten one from the public event chest. It pops up as soon as the public event is complete before I open the chest. So that being said, if you're going to farm these, then Honestly, try to open as many chests on a destination as you can. I've also heard people say that they've gotten them from Lost Sectors. I tested this. I did a few Lost Sectors and did not get one. But that might be another avenue for you to gain these Radio Laren cultures as well, since it does seem to be the most difficult one to get. The next material that we're going to take a look at is the Advanced Paradox Amplifier. Now, much like our previous material, you will need one blue or ten greens, and take those ten greens to Brother Vance to exchange for one blue in order to complete this section of the Prophecy Tablet. For this particular material, it tells you to go and farm either Crucible Matches, Strikes, or Heroic Public Events on Mercury. That being said, the absolute easiest and most consistent way to get these materials is without a doubt doing Heroic Strikes. Heroic Strikes seem to have a very good chance to drop blue quality versions of this material rel relatively frequently, so that's going to save you some time, so you don't have to go and do 10 Heroic Strikes in order to get the 10 greens, although sometimes that will be the case. Much like everything else in Destiny, this is all up to RNG, but like I said, cruce, er, Heroic Strikes seem to be your best bet to farm these materials. And the last material that we're going to take a look at is Fossilized Hermaeon Blossoms. No idea if I said that right, I think it's a stupid name. But nonetheless, it tells you in order to complete these or obtain these materials, you are going to need to go and do either Nightfalls, Trials of the Nine matches, or Heroic Strikes. I've done Heroic Strikes and I've gotten quite a few of these even though I don't actually have a tablet that requires me to need them yet. 
I don't understand why they're dropping, perhaps it's some kind of glitch or a bug, or maybe as I progress through my prophecy tablets, I will eventually obtain one that requires me to collect this material, I'm not 100% sure. But as it stands right now, those are the only three materials that I am currently aware of in this game for the prophecy tablets. Now that's not to say that at some point next week, we might have some new material, or sometime down the road we might have some new material as we obtain more of these prophecy tablets, but as it stands right now, like I said, those are the only three that I know about. And that is going to bring this video to an end, my friends. Drop a comment in the box below. Let me know if you found any other materials or if you have another way to farm them. Me personally, I think it's all about heroic strikes and opening up random patrol chests and destinations. I mean, that seems to be the best bet to get all of these. But that's going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.